This experiment is an attempt to find the composition of an aluminum zinc alloy. It depends on stoichiometry with a reaction between the alloy and strong hydrochloric acid. The first thing you must do is find the mass of your sample. We use an analytical balance to get higher accuracy and precision. The first thing we must do is put the alloy into a capsule. The capsule encapsulates it so that it doesn't begin reacting with the acid as soon as it comes in contact. The acid has to eat through the capsule first. The equipment is designed to collect the hydrogen gas that is produced from the reaction between the metal and the hydrochloric acid. The hydrogen gas will go into a sidearm flask which is filled with water. The hydrogen gas will push the water out of the flask and the water will be collected in a beaker for measurement. And then the titration will tell us what part of the sample we use an analytical balance to get better precision and accuracy. Be sure the sample is completely dissolved so that titration is accurate. The capsule is put into the acid and the sidearm test tube is quickly stoppered. The acid slowly dissolves the capsule and exposes the alloy. The reaction then occurs producing hydrogen gas which exits the test tube and goes into the sidearm flask. The silver will continue to react with the chloride as long as there are chloride ions in solution. After the reaction is complete, the water that has been collected is measured. Then, knowing the room temperature and pressure, we can calculate the number of moles of hydrogen gas that were produced by the reaction. We can then calculate the mass of aluminum and mass of zinc that was present in the original sample, considering the amount of hydrogen that was produced.